Hey you guys, oh man, I'm extra excited about my topic today. It's something that I talk to all my clients about. It's a huge, huge deal to me. I feel like I discovered the key to life with this one. <laughs> it's gonna sound simple, but it's crazily important if you're trying to reach goals, not even weight loss or fitness goals, just goals in general, this is the way to do it. So I feel like I've kind of unlocked that secret even though it's totally simple and you could probably figure it out on your own. All right, so what is my key to success? Baby steps, teeny tiny baby steps. The way that we are wired as humans is we are naturally resistant to change. So when you're trying to do all these crash diets, lose 50 pounds in seven days, okay, I'm being dramatic, but you know what I mean? All these quick crash diets, lose it really fast, you are set up for failure because maybe you can stick to it for seven days. Maybe you lose that weight after the seven days, but what happens? You probably put it right back on, right? Because it's not sustainable. It's not realistic. It's not the way that we're wired. You're working against your own wiring as a human being, okay? So if you want to reach your goals, start with the easy stuff first is my first tip. So like my clients, for instance, oh, I don't really like dairy that much. Awesome. Get rid of your dairy because that's easy for you, right? So whatever is the hardest, like if you just love bread, you have bread every single day, maybe make that the last thing that you're giving up. And yes, I am pointing you towards the direction of giving up dairy and giving up grains, not just gluten, but grains as well, okay? At least majority of the time, that's what you're working towards. So back to baby steps, one little step at a time. I used to tell my clients, don't just go home and throw away all your bread. That's crazy talk. No, if you love bread or whatever it is, you love pasta, slowly start to cut it back or tell yourself, oh, I'm not gonna have any bread or pasta after noon, okay? Just little tiny baby steps to get you to your goals. Whatever your goals are, make them small and start building them up until they become a habit because I'm guessing that you wanna be fit or reach your goals for a lifetime, right? So if you wanna do that, you have to be implementing little teeny tiny baby steps along the way that are really, really gonna add up over time and get you to your goals. So stop with all the crash diets, the quick fixes, the, oh my God, I am gonna starve myself on Monday or whatever it is that you're doing, just stop. Pick the stuff that's easy for you. Map out a plan of your baby steps that you're gonna start taking. Maybe it's, I'm gonna eat one less piece of bread today. Whatever it is, whatever those small steps are that you can be taking, that's what you need to be doing to get to your goals. You'll be so surprised at how those little steps add up so much over time. Teeny tiny steps. Just get yourself a little bit closer, a little bit closer. You'll have longer lasting results and you'll make it a part of your lifestyle. That's what we all want. We want an eating style or eating plan that works for our lifestyle because let's be honest, diets don't work because they're temporary, right? And they're not realistic and they suck and you're craving food and it's no fun and you can't have anything and you're deprived, right? Don't do that. Take little tiny baby steps, start small, start with the easy stuff, and you're gonna be awesome. So comment below if you have any additional questions or comments. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you later. Mwah.